MLP Digital Paint. Join me, June 6th, for a virtual paint party on Facebook Live. It's going to be fun. Bring a pre-painted canvas with your red, gold, and purple color palette blended nicely, your artist brushes, and of course, your drink of the night. Welcome to my channel. We'll be tackling a subject on Instagram every other week to prepare for this painting. This week we're discussing seven different artists who have painted or dealt with fireworks. Psycho Shang, a man who makes his living blowing things up. creating in the sky, he's creating on earth, and at auction, his work has realized over two million dollars per piece. Can we call him a painter, or is he really an entertainer? By definition, he's the epitome of the pop culture surrounding fireworks. His audience is the masses, not the stuffy art critics. George Barbier, costume designer and fashion illustrator. He made fireworks fashionable. His painting, titled Fireworks in Venice, we see the entire lifespan of a firework, from launch to blast. His representation of the delicate embers was in fact a signature style and used to illustrate plants, stars, and snow. Knowing that his 20-year career working for the likes of Vogue, Harper's Bazaar, Cartier, and Renault, while creating costumes for Rudy Valentino, the Follies Berger, and the ballet, means he was a huge influencer of the pop culture during the early part of the 1900s. Vincent Van Gogh The 14th of July celebration in Paris why does he not call it Bastille Day? If you look up Bastille Day on the internet, you predominantly see fireworks behind the Eiffel Tower, which was only just built the year after Van Gogh created this piece. But this street scene has no iconic landmark. Critics are also not kind to this painting, saying the definition between the street scene and the sky is not easily understood, but because of his modern fame, people will buy almost anything Van Gogh, including this purse. This is the power of pop culture. Jacob Philip Hacker. Fireworks over Castle San Angelo in Rome, painted in 1775. It was painted about 300 years into the 400-year tradition of the Flower and Firework Festival. They stopped in 1880 due to stucco damage and the encroaching city. It is said that Archangel Michael appeared over the castle, giving June 29th, Patron Saints Day, confirmation of God's approval. Jacob Philip Hackard had many royal patrons, including Catherine the Great, Pope Pius VI, and Ferdinand I. He was set in the moment of time to capture the great festival that would take nearly a century to return with new technologies. Jinta Hirayama. If you owned a firework company in 1877, how would you let people know they were available to purchase? You'd create a catalog. By increasing product visibility and providing a definitive pattern design via numerical system, Jinto was able to reach people outside of Japan. His company was even responsible for entertaining Ulysses S. Grant 
in 1879 upon his arrival to Japan. André Felibian. He was a prolific writer and historian of art, but also in a way the antichrist of pop culture. Many art critics followed the rules set about by him, and those rules were landscapes above fruit, flowers, and seashells, living over inanimate objects, but he who becomes an imitator of God on earth by painting human figures is much more excellent than all others. But who is not to say that being an art critic in those days was popular? He was in fact a court historian to the king and reported on all the parties of Versailles. Gaston Latouche Dubbed as a social realist, there is a beautiful romanticism to his work. He was acquainted with Degas and Manet, and he had been told on several occasions to brighten his color palette. Many of his paintings would hang on the walls of cafes for society to admire, but it is the paintings themselves that help us understand the significance throughout history that fireworks bring to the most momentous occasions. Dinner at the Casino and the joyous festival. I hope you've enjoyed our journey this week, observing the importance of fireworks on our psyche as a culture. <laughs>